Pit Hall in Makahari. A joyous night for the host country as Yuka Sato comes out to accept her gold medal, the 1994 world champion. Well, Barb, flashbacks of 10 years ago for you and I, I can just remember vividly what it's like to come out in front of your hometown audience to accept the world championship title. It just, it just runs shivers up and down your back. Well, for her to come through tonight under such tremendous pressure was just incredible. And what a deserving champion. She told me in 1985 she was a flower girl here. Well, she'll be accepting flowers tonight. And they have called for the silver medalist, Saria Bonnelly. Well, she didn't look very happy. And you can see the cameras gathering there, awaiting Saria, who perhaps is still lacing on her skates. I'm sure for this, for her, this competition was gold or nothing. And Here she comes. It's going to be very disappointing. Well, I know she voiced her displeasure at where she placed in the technical program, but they don't award medals for the technical program. Oh, she's upset. You can see her crying. Well, a heartbreaking 5-4 judging decision leaves her in second place for the second consecutive year. As she congratulates you, Cassato. And the bronze medalist is coming out, and she'll be delighted. Here's 16-year-old Tanya Chepchenko. Especially after the season she had. I remember her struggling so hard to complete her program at the Junior World Championships in December, and then to come here, capture a bronze medal. For a girl of her age and her stature, at this point in her career, a great boost of confidence. Well, this is extraordinary. As you can see, Yuka Sato at the top of the podium. What is Bonnelly and doing? And Bonnelly has not gone on to the second place spot. So this is extraordinary. This is unbelievable. The awarders will now enter. That's like a, that's like a direct slap in the face to a judge's panel. It's a disgrace. Well, you've uh, been through competition for so many years. Have you ever seen anything like this? Cert certainly not at a skating function. And here comes the president of the International Skating Union, Olaf Polson. You can hear the boos. Medals will be awarded by the ISU, ISU president, Olaf Polson. Mr. Olaf Polson. Well, this is extraordinary. Uh, I, I personally can't remember seeing anything as, as profound a statement as this since perhaps the actions of John Carlos and Tommy Smith in Mexico City in 1968. It's on the same level. Well, I wonder how he's going to handle the situation. If I were him, I think I'd give the silver to Tanya. Unfortunately, it's taken away from the moment for Yuka Sato. And Mr. Polson now addressing Saria. Listen to the audience. Very gently trying to coax her to accept the medal. And he'll present it on the ice. I'm amazed that, that she, that he would even do that. Well, that's nice, though. He has got her up on the podium. Well, you have to wonder what kind of a role her mother has played in all this. Look, at, she's just devastated. Oh, and she takes it off. It's the audience reaction that's, that, that I find amazing. I mean, usually skating audiences are fairly, fairly tolerant. Mr. Colson acknowledging the bandage on Tanya Chipchenko's chin, but unfortunately the story here has shifted away from the award winners and to Saria Bonley, who doesn't want her silver. Well, it's not the first time controversy has swirled around Saria. Well, she's been reprimanded by the International Skating Union a couple of times for various things that she's done. Nothing as blatant as this, but there was a point where she was executing backflips on practice sessions for Europeans and World Championships, and she was told that she was no longer allowed to do that because of the danger factor. Well, this is the moment for the Japanese public as they salute the gold medalist.
with the controversy, that was very moving. Midori's eyes are filled and so are mine. Well, these are the images that we should remember from this medal ceremony, but somehow I think the actions of Surya Bonnelly are going to get most of the attention. Well, I don't see how the International Skating Union can just turn a blind eye to this. There's going to have to be some action taken because you can't have a moment of honor like this treated in that fashion. The future is so bright for Yuka Sato, but what does this do to the future of Surya? Well, nicely, she has stepped onto the top of the platform to pose for the medal ceremony pictures. Well, I wonder if she'll show up for the Parade of Champions tomorrow. Well, they'll be cheering in Gloucester, Ontario tonight. You could spend a lot of time with the family. The Avery's there who took her under their wing and made a big impact on her early training, and I'm sure they're thrilled with tonight's result. Well, as we look at this picture, I wonder how similar it will look next year with the return of Oksana Bayul and Lu Chen. Well, you've heard from the new world champion, Yuka Sato, in conversation with Brian Williams. And let's see if Brian can get a word with Surya Bonnelly. Surya, wh why? why did you not accept the medal? What, what was the problem? Because it's not my place, and I'm just disappointed. So, yeah, are they unfair to you, Surya? What? Are the judges unfair to you? It's, it's a lie. But it's do, you, do you feel you were robbed tonight? Is that what you're saying? Did you deserve the gold medal, Surya? I don't know. I'm just uh, uh, not lucky. Uh, so yeah, who told you not to go on the podium? Was just, it your decision? Just myself. If nobody thinks it's not, I'm not first, uh, I, don't, I think it's not good. Will you quit amateur skating now? I don't know. So yeah, An extraordinary you know conclusion to the season. Like Final skate. thoughts after this. <laughs> Popper's season has concluded here as we welcome you back to the event hall in Makahari, Japan. Great joy for the Japanese and bitter disappointment for silver medalist Saria Bonnelly of France. In a year dominated by the Tanya Harding story, we probably shouldn't be surprised at what we witnessed tonight. We've seen the very best and the very worst of the sport this year, but in the new world champion, Yuka Sato, we've seen the best that skating has to offer. And with their final thoughts, let's join Barb Underhill and Paul Martini. Thanks, Chris. You know, it's a shame that that display by Surya had to overshadow Yuka's gold medal performance. And frankly, I don't really understand it because in everybody's minds, she was the clear winner. Well, Barb, I have to wonder if it's not Surya's mother at work. She's been instrumental in a lot of uproar in the career of Surya Bonnelly. She's been on the outs with the French Federation for a number of years. And I have to wonder tonight if her behavior wasn't at the prodding of her mother. Well, my heart absolutely aches for Jose Schwinnard like I think everybody else is. She's probably one of the most talented skaters and maybe will be the most talented skater never to win a world medal. She's just, she wears her heart on her sleeve and I was just talking to Kurt and he said, well maybe the problem is that she's just too nice. Well, Barb, we've had a lot of controversy here this week, and usually it's controversy when we talk about the judging, but Jean, we've had a controversy tonight that could affect the career of a skater. Well, Paul, if Surya continues to skate, the judges will have to judge her on merit and not on what happened tonight. However, I must say it is nice to have the focus off the judging for once. It's been a thrill to be here all week. It's been a wonderful week of competition. I've enjoyed doing my features once again on judging for CBC. I hope that some of you have been able to apply that information to your scorecard, and perhaps next year we can even expand on its use. Ryan? All right, Gene, Chris Cuthbert talked about a soap opera. That may be an understatement. I don't think anyone envisioned the circus that went on below me here tonight. Saraya Bonley at first refusing to even get on the podium and then telling us when she came off the ice that she should have won the gold medal. A disappointing night for Jose Schwedard, but a very candid coach, Louis Stong, telling me that, look, once again, it was a lack of focus. Every time that Jose is close to a medal, she loses focus. Stong believes she will return for the World Championships next year in Birmingham, England. And of course, you have to feel good for Yuka Sato and the Japanese, the second world champion for this country, the first being Midori Ito. She won in Paris in 1989. By the way, that was the year that Kurt Browning also won his first world championship. An exciting night here in Japan. 
And now for Chris Cuthbert, Barbara Underhill, Paul Martini, and Gene Semp, I'm Brian Williams saying good night from Japan. And just a reminder, a very special show tomorrow night, three hours, the Parade of Champions, including a Frank and...